I see you Gotham Knights, I see you WB Montreal and this was exactly what I needed to see. This actual last piece of information from the IGN first coverage of the game really did solidify a lot of things that me and you guys have probably spoken about previously. But this game is really shaping up to be something great. Now. We know that this game is based within a solo play mode but also available for you to play within a co-op gaming session and there is so much systems and mechanics that are going on with this game that just makes it absolutely beautiful. Now if you want to play this game alone you will have endless amount of fun, endless amount of times to keep returning to this game not only for collectibles not only for the crimes not only for the villain knights there is a so much things going on and i want to talk about that in this video today now what i did like there was a few little key sentences that really had my ears hurt and i was like yes this is exactly what we need now the fact that this game is allowing so much individuality and also really playing up on the co-op aspect of the game is just a credit to the staff and a credit to the development team of what they're trying to do here. They really wanted to make a game where you are really involved within the world and life of being a superhero. That means really going out into the city and solving crimes and learning and understanding and preparing yourself each patrol so you can then go out the next time to tackle a underground operation or just be about to be in the presence of some street level goons up to no good and that is just so fascinating now but what i really do like is the fact that you and someone else can enjoy this experience together and i want to touch upon something that jeff eleanor said the fact that two people can be within gotham city nowhere near each other and then out of nowhere a batarang can just come flying across the screen and that co-op person who you are playing with could just help you out in a situation that is going on because they got sidetracked by going after a collectible or tackling something else and that is just beautiful that is just absolutely beautiful like this game uh, I, don't, I don't know how many times i can say the same thing without sounding like i'm just repeating myself but realistically this is a brand new fun experience like we were came close to something like this with a game that i don't really want to speak about but that kind of fell short just in the way how that after the game got launched the development process in regards to community service and updates and so on didn't really land and take off but what's interesting with this is there's gonna be end game content no one knows what's really going on with this end game content. There's that, like the way how I see it, because I swear to you, like I'm not even lying now. Half the things that were said in this little last overview from IGN, like if you really backtrack some of my videos, I've spoke about this. I've said this. Gotham Knights a playable character. I said that. We even had someone in the community talk about as an element poison would be one they said that like half the things we spoke about i even said i did say to you like if you're out one night looking for a crime and you don't get all the pieces correctly to, to go onto your evidence board you are unable to solve it because you haven't gathered everything and the two playthroughs if i played it and you played it would be completely different because you never continued further in that story chain because you haven't got all the vital information ah oh, come on like i knew i i saw i saw the vision when it came to this game i saw the vision i saw it we've been speaking about it and i know that a lot of you guys who are watching this video right now can see it as well but when it comes to this end game stuff i really do believe now listen to me on this one and i want you to backtrack to this video at some point now, I'm going to take a bit of a gamble on this. I'm going to stick with my original thought. I do believe that when it comes to the end game stuff for this game, I'm envisioning it as like, I don't know if a lot of you played Witcher 3, but I do feel like it will be like a DLC expansion where it's going to be a fully fleshed out story. So 
if this is a comic book game and we read comic books they're in like you know a series you get the first part you get the second part and the story continues now if wb montreal have seen the vision they're gonna have a fully fleshed out expansion pack story which will add on to what the game's doing or throw in other villains throw in other playable characters i'm a bit 50 50 with the playable characters but i do know that they could easily throw in other villains that'd be simple that's nothing for them to do and then that will just continue and add on to the base foundations of what this game's already got and it will just keep you interlooping with new factions a new villain and everything like that while still updating and changing each night as you go out to patrol like i really can't understand how people can't just see how this game's gonna be sick like from everything i've heard when it comes to this game this game is going to be sick but i'm t <laughs> i just i just really can't i really i really i really was just like shocked and really just happy to hear certain keywords throughout this and i know that a lot of you guys who watched the um, ign um last piece of information when it came to this game would feel the same but it's just so good to see the little the little nuances you know walking up to the suit to change your character simple going downstairs to update and alter your back cycle simple you know the fact that two people can be in the same universe or well, the same gotham city and not be around each other and you know can just like meet up spontaneously and then just do some crazy dynamic duo stuff and then separate and keep it moving you know there's reasons for you to go back there's reasons for you to investigate there's reasons for you to be doing things and the suits i just saw the suits so you know let's talk about them the suits and the customization and the individuality that's gonna be on you know on show for us to really take on board and really be a part of like yeah like as 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 august is coming to an end and we're about to head into september i just know that whatever they do decide to show next is going to be amazing like i really am happy with what they showcase in this um last minute well not even last minute this surprise showcase guys and i just want to know what you guys think because as always this is always community based like i really do feel like they have so much going in the right direction for this game and this could be something that could really build out this universe properly and I don't, i'm not gonna tell or go over everything that was showcased in this video i'd rather you go check it out for yourself but i'm absolutely happy like happy ain't even the word i'm buzzing right about now and i really just cannot wait to play this game like whether it just be me just doing my own thing learning systems and finding things or it's with you guys just exploring and having a laugh and really just beating up some <laughs> beating up some people in Gotham but let me know what you guys think when it came to this is there anything that you're really excited about because there's so much happening like end game content we don't really truly know how they're gonna keep us coming back they could have so many surprises for us so many surprises and I'm telling you from now I am here for it now some boxes should be on your screen right now go and hit that like button go watch another video subscribe and trust me you will see me in the next video take it easy peace